Right, I've, I've come back down here today just for a couple of hours. Got not a lot to do, so I uh, had a lot of rain this morning, so got out now while I can. Just like I say, for a couple of hours, I'm going to hunt over there where them dogs are. That person with the dogs. I'm going to hunt along that gravelly patch. And if that's not very productive, I'll come back to these lows here. Them, but I don't expect to find a lot. If I do, I'll let you know. Onward. Right, that's probably my best find so far. Just an old 50p, big one. Uh, just found that clamp. Big aluminium clamp or something. Lord knows. Right, this ain't nothing great, just a worn out ship's halfpenny. George the sixth. Oh, possibly George the fifth. Yeah, George the fifth. Maybe. Lord. <laughs> right. Give it a bit longer, see what happens. Right, that's me done for today. I've done a couple of hours. Found a few bits, mainly up near all the rocks and that there, and up near that hut. But yeah, not a lot. Don't think I'll find a great deal, so this is all we've got. Got an old 50p, rusty modern 2p, modern penny, um, Elizabeth penny, uh, George the fifth ship's halfpenny. Little, I think that's just a brass lock cover, key cover, key hole cover, and a pin, go off a brooch or something. Um, just bullets and screws, and a spoon, square shaft with threads on each end, something like that is. Bits of lead, a handle off something. Uh, or copper wire and screws and took that off the beach as well. See that in the sands so we'll, uh, grab that. Anyway, add this on to another video, I reckon. Perhaps we'll be down there in another couple of days because some big tides coming up and I might sort of scour this out a little bit, but hopefully it won't wash the cliffs out, but I might sort of take this bank out a little bit, you know. Right, I'll catch you later. Uh, you can tell it was raining earlier, look. The sand dunes are covered with slugs and snails. I try to shelter you as best I can, it's really windy again. But yeah, <laughs> I've been down there about oh, a good hour, I reckon. Only found a ship's halfpenny and a brass nail. I just had a piece of plumbing out of that hole there. And I swung my coil. Now that, that hole there, got a pound, so we're a bit scared anyway. Right, onward. Right, that wasn't a great session, but um, hey, there you go, that's how it goes sometimes. It's pretty sandy up still, but that might wash out. If it does, I'll come down and have a good session. That's all we got. A bit of plumbing, another one of them things, wherever they are. Big old fork, it's massive that is. Shrapnel, a uh, ring pull and a beaver tail found separately, 9mm bullet, unidentified coin, pound coin, ship's halfpenny. That's about it. Oh yeah, we found that, have a bit of that brass with like the decoration on it. Don't think there's anything to do with shrapnel. Uh, just random bits of brass, shiny little handle of something. Really shiny we got today though. Oh, pull the big glass out of there as well. Sort of take out bins that was lying there. Anyway, it's getting all misty and horrible, and it's rather cold. It's middle of May. You wouldn't think it, because it's um, pretty cold. Right, I'm off. See you next time. Right, it's about 8:15 p.m. now. It's just gone high tide. As you can see, it's uh, quite a high tide. 
Wind's made the sea a little bit rough, but it ain't too bad. So I might come down here later um, with my headlamp on, and do some night hunting. Uh, may video somewhere in the dark, see what happens. Or if this video is in the dark or not, but I'll give it a go. You know, some of the slopes washing out a bit. Uh, luckily, it took the cliffs out again, so we're safe for now. Yeah, I might have scoured the slopes down a bit, expose some stuff, you never know. A bit of wind. now 10 p.m. no starting um, got clear you can't see it but it's clear unmarked flat sand no footprints should be lovely a swing over this anyway let's go I oh, might be able to get some footage right it's night time we're back at the same venue um, do this by lamp light I don't know if this will show up very well. I've been here about an hour and this is what I've found. Just some bits and bobs, buttons and a bullet. Modern pound. Uh, decimalised sixpence. Farthing. Half penny. And a bunhead penny. Yeah, pound coin. Must have been a recent drop of this. I believe, because of the way it's bent. That's, uh, that that rang up all right. I think that's um, silver. I think that might be a love token. I've never found one before, but if that's a love token, that'll be my first one on the beach. So. Well, I've done about an hour. It's about, well, it's gone 1 a.m., so I don't know how much longer I'll do till I get tired and then I'll go. Right, catch in a bit if I find anything more. Oh, I found a bottle. Woohoo! Going home, it's getting late. Uh, first light is in the sky. So, time for my Horlicks and bed. I'll show you what I found in the morning. Sorry about the wind. Right, just a quick show you what I found last night, or early hours of the morning. That was a not a bad two and a half hour hunt. That I'm going to go back down there in a little while, strike while the iron's hot. So we'll do two tides in 24 hours. Epic. Anyway, yeah, that's all the rubbish I found. Dart, bottle, some china, tin, padlock, bits of lead and brass and ring balls and iron ring, bottle cock, top, a couple of bits of lead. Um, found that like, nice bottle, it's all hand blown. You can see it's all rippled where it's been hand blown. Now it's pretty old, it's nice. Yeah, keep hold of that. And then, uh, well, pretty much I found as many good finds as I did bad finds. Uh, well, good, all right. Keepers, to get them, check and put them in the other bowl. <laughs> and a couple of bullets. One pound, about one pound ten in spendies. Some ring-shaped things, which weren't the right ring-shaped things, but well, we should get them. They're brass rings, so that would have dug up the proper ones. Got a load of buttons. Pretty old, some of them, so good sign. Got um, toasted Vicky Penny, early bunhead. A really toasted, misshaped, don't even know if it is a coin, well, I should imagine it is, but I just had it. Um, George V Penny, George V Half Penny. Got a George V, no, George the Sixth Sixpence, and that looks copper, so that's a bit weird. And a Cupro Nickel, Elizabeth II Sixpence, and a star find this it's definitely silver that's bent up at the edges there's slight detail on there I can't make nothing out um, I, I assume that's a love token being silver being um, sort of an S shape 
found my first love token. Anyway, let's get back down there and give it another go. Hey, big lump of scrap brass. It's an old toilet handle, solid brass. Right, that's all I've found so far after about probably nearly an hour. Just found one George V halfpenny, a bit toasty, three modern pennies, I mean two pennies, and I uh, found this. I think it says uh, 1750 on it. It's got geezer pointing left. I think that might be George II, so hey, something old, which is good. Right, carry on. <laughs> it's funny how green pound coins get on here. Um, banks still take them though. Look how green that is. It's super green. Super green. Oh. oh, the diggers just come back down, do a bit more filling in. So uh, I'm going to have another 10 minutes and go, I think. If I find anything, I'll let you know. See you at home. Uh, I'll just quickly show you what I got on that last hunt. Um, not a great deal, but a few interesting bits. Um, got loads of scrap as usual, bin stuff, bits of this and that. Um, old um, handle off the toilet, solid brass, quite bad. Bit of bomb shrapnel, other bit of bomb shrapnel. Uh, blank 9mm casing. Bit of lead, bit of copper, shards of brass. These are both uh, solid lumps of metal, melted copper. Where one thing but broke. Quite heavy, heavy bit of copper. Uh, yeah, we found a few bottles. Well, a bottle, great yarn of cooperative milk bottle. Uh, the usual bits of glass. Put them with the other bits. Take them out anyway, like. I always take, this isn't an old jar or nothing, not that old, that's not screw top, that's not that old. Uh, but if I see them laying on the beach or in the edge of the cliff about to fall out, I take them out anyway, because uh, they roll around and get smashed on the stones. Yeah, and then coinage, we've got two, three, four, two pennies, a green one pound, five P, um, Elizabeth the second sixpence, uh, George VI, sixpence, that's 1951, that's 1961. Uh, George V, penny, I think that's about 1918. And I think that is, no, it's just a, another George V, half penny. And this is probably my best find of that trip. As, uh, you can't see it, but I'll try to get a picture of it. Most people will know what it is anyway if I explain it. It's a bust face and left. Um, sort of an old school Britannia on the back. The date on the bottom, I'm oh, sorry that's the wrong way up. When you turn the bust over the Britannia's the wrong way up. Yeah, the date on the bottom is um, 1732 or 1739. But you can see detail, you can see the two. You can see his bust face and left quite clearly try to get a picture but may not come out very good yeah so do another quick session I suppose and add to this video right, right a bit slow going today all I've found so far about half an hour just Elizabeth the second penny a couple of buttons and a couple of modern pennies so let's crack on Just another crusty pound, nothing exciting. Hello! I'll just do this quick shot just to show you what the erosion's like. It's nibbling away at these cliffs still. Um, there's a load just fell very recently here. munched away, bit of a shame really. Right, I've given up going along the base of the cliff, I found a few little things, but um, I've moved down onto this gravelly stuff now. Uh, 
I just found that. I don't know what it is. It's huge and it's heavy and it's brass. It's got a couple of clamp um, nut things on the top here. Like plates. Solid brass, but it looks like so. Oh, I hate to do it, but I'm going to have to carry that. <coughs> I don't want to leave it here because that looks like something quite good. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to this gravelly layer now. It's full of iron, so maybe that's why I've been heavily dug. So it's just iron constantly. Just pick amongst it. Alright, let's carry on. So I'm off home. I'll show you what I found when I get home. Right, it's a bit noisy out here. I'm just doing a roundup of the last hunt. Uh, I'll do a complete roundup of the best bits in a little while, but this is just what we got on the last hunt. Uh, 50s weekend are going on, so it's a little bit noisy. Have to speak up. Yeah, I might do a video, a little bit on the end of this video of the. Uh, cars and that will keep coming past. Some people like 50 stuff, some don't. Um, if you don't, sorry about the music. I'm sorry about all the noise out here, but that's how it is living here. All right, this is the rubbish. Well, scrap as well. This is all brass, hinges, some plate. I don't know what on earth that is, but I thought it might be a poker handle or something, but it's uh, painted, so I doubt it. A bit of furniture. Uh, Probably part of a sink. <laughs> That's all brass. Uh, there's scraps of melted copper, bronze, and brass here. Shards. That's a bit of a Mills grenade spring tube. A uh, bit of lead pipe. Second one of them I found's got rubber on one side and not a disc on the other. Doom disc, so might be off a tap or something. Um, this is just like. That hard sort of alloy stuff I find on there. Rubbish. One little ring pull. That's all for the scrap man. Or a bit of glass as well. I always pick that up. Remember the advert from the 70s of the little kid running along the beach, so I always pick that up. <laughs> anyway, found that. That's a contact breaker apparently, identified by my friend Dale. For thousands of volts, apparently, that, that clamps a plate, which is the fuse. Yeah, it's not a bad find. I had to carry it about though, so never mind. Probably the best thing I found on that hunt, actually. <laughs> and then just the little bits and pieces all in the tin, a couple of buttons, a 9mm bullet. Um, I don't know what happened to the other penny. I did. Oh, there it is. Two pennies and a five p. Spendies, pound coin, spendy. We got Elizabeth the second penny. Not sure of the date. I think sixty something. We had a euro coin token. Euro coin London. That'll be a ten p token for um, fruit machines. Anyway, do a roundup of all the little. Well, the better stuff that I found. And um, maybe show you a couple of these cars that keep coming past. Right, thanks for watching. Um, don't know if I'll be doing any more beach videos. I'll probably go down there, gather some footage. But I won't do any soon. I've got to find something else. You know. People get bored with these. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Right, this is just a quick overview of my last few hunts. Um, here's all the rubbish. Um, copper wire, copper brass, big old insulator thing I found. Right, that's all scrap, it's not really. It's a bit of rubbish there. Uh, bomb shrapnel, bits and pieces, lead. Found a few of these. Getting quite a collection of them, they're copper, so weigh in. Uh, a couple of darts. That thing, don't know what it is. Yeah, a few ring shaped items. The right items though. Uh, big and right small stuff as well. Just little tiny bits. 
You'd be surprised what my detector can hear. People would slag it off, but I think that's a good machine. Yeah, and we got the bottles. Got an old jam jar. Not that old, but there you go. Great Yarmouth Cooperative. Milk bottle, pasteurised milk. We've got the hand blown bottle. See all the ripples in it where it's hand blown. Pretty old. Shh. Yeah, I'll take them out, even if they're not old, because uh, they're all sticking out the bottom of the cliff. And uh, next tide, we'll take them on the beach and end up in bits. So, we go with that. Let me move on to the gooder stuff. Right, got plenty of buttons. Some quite old ones as well. Got a tom back type there and a really little one. Um, got a Euro coin token for a 10p slot machine. Pound coins, four of them. Spendies, even a modern one. Old 50p, the big ones. Uh, toasted thrippany bit. Toasted something else. Didn't even really look coin shapes, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, some bullets. That one's a bit different from your normal 303. It's got like a tapered tip on it, so I'm not sure about that. If you go compared to a normal one. A uh, 9mm blank casing, some 9mm bullets. We've got um, quite a few coins. Oh, I found another bit of that. It's kind of like decorated stuff. I thought it was shrapnel at first, but it's just decorated. Uh, another one of them. See things. This one's got markings on it, measurements, so I'll we'll be able to find out what it is from that. And that. Uh, pin off a brooch. Still works. Yeah, and the coins we found uh, 1862 Vicky Penny. Well worn, but you can just get the date on it. Uh, two half pennies, George V, around 1920, 1920, I just imagine that one's around the same. Uh, 1920 and 1921, George V pennies. Um, 1962, both of them, Elizabeth II pennies. And two George V ship eight pennies. That's about it for the coins, but I mean the normal coins, but this one's a bit out of the ordinary. You won't see it on there, but I can just make out 1732 or 1739 the bomb. And, uh, on the other side, you can barely see George II's, sorry, wrong way up. George II's head with two at the top right at one o'clock. Uh, just identified it. I'll give it some uh, olive oil so it'll come up there. And the better finds. We've got um, George V, sixpence. I mean, George VI, sixpence, 1951. Where is it, five? Hang, hang on, hang on. No, uh, six. Yeah, George VI, sixpence, 1951. Elizabeth II, 1961. 51 and 61. And then now, I don't know if that is a um, love token. But it certainly looks like something fine, as smooth as anything. There's slightest detail on there, but you never make out what it was. It's been trimmed, it's been bent at the edges and then cut straight, so it's been trimmed as well. It's definitely silver. Right. I'll do some pictures anyway and show you later. The goats are playing up, so I've got to go sort them out. Buggers. Right. Hope you like the video. Um, uh, like, subscribe if you want, and um, catch you on the next one. And the goats are about to have a fit, so I've got to go. Bye, yes.
Chevrolet. Whether that's uh, paint on rust, but it all looks pretty original to me. Dints and that here, it's good. Give a character, show us age. It's all been beaten out of the front here. Nice. Right, I'll show you a few more in a bit. <laughs> Size of that thing. One, one, one cubic inches. Chevrolet Bel Air. Definitely enthusiastic about their hobby. They come down here twice a year. Mm. Vauxhall for a change. Mm. They're all hanging about getting their breakfast, so get a couple more clips. Chevrolet's are the most popular car by the looks of things. Another Bel Air. Oops, sorry about noise, there's a rock lorry coming. So the old Chevys are popular. Plymouth, proper gangster that is. Sleeping goats lie, that's what I say. Oh yeah. 